Non-essential retail will be returning on Monday the 15th of June, with social distancing measures in place. Retailers, many of which have been closed since March, have begun discussing their plans to reopen with employees and customers. It is expected that the return of businesses should bring many of our region's high streets and shopping centres slowly back to life. On the 24th of March, High Streets Minister Simon Clark announced a £50 million fund to help restart local economies. The Bullring is probably the most prominent site for retail here in the West Midlands, with well over one million visitors taking the trip here annually. The shopping centre is preparing to open its doors once again, but of course, like almost every aspect of life, shopping here will be drastically different than what it was before the pandemic. Shoppers will see the introduction of one-way systems, hand sanitizer points, and of course, queuing regimes while staff will be instructed to wear personal protective equipment. Stephanie Lacey, the general manager at the Bullring, said it has been a really challenging time for everyone and we are hugely grateful to the key workers that have done so much over the past few months. However, perhaps one of the Bullring's biggest changes will be a loss of Debenhams, which is not expected to accompany the shopping centre in its reopening. The department store, which has its fourth biggest location here inside the Bullring, has announced it will not be reopening its doors after failing to resolve a rent dispute. Debenhams, which has struggled financially over the last couple of years, has been particularly hard hit as a result of the lockdown and after struggling to agree terms regarding rent, they have been forced to close the location permanently.